Hello Stampers, this is Yana Smakula. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm showing you how to make modern one layer Halloween cards using simple Halloween images. Before I usually start working on my cards, I like to test my ideas out on a piece of scrap paper. Here I've already tested one of the ideas and stamped the image of a spooky tree repeatedly. This created a unique pattern for a simple Halloween card. To take it up a notch, I decided to use colored cardstock for my background and picked a sheet of dark blue cardstock. This is cut to four and a quarter by five and a half inches and it will make the front of my card. To stamp the spooky tree pattern, I'm using black ink. This is Versafine Onyx Black. It's one of my favorite black inks for simple stamping like this. To stamp the pattern, I am starting in the bottom left corner and stamping the trees one by one, forming rows of trees. This panel will have three rows of trees with about three trees in each row. You can also stamp the same pattern on a landscape card if you want it. I am eyeballing the placement of the trees and I'm not being worried about making it absolutely perfect and aligned. I've already heat embossed Happy Halloween sentiment in white embossing powder on black paper. I cut it to a thin strip and here I'm using it to figure out if I like how this card is going. I do like it, but I feel like something is missing and like the background is just a little bit too simple. One of my favorite ways to add interest to a colored cardstock background, such as this one, is with the help of a white pen. Here I have Sakura white pen in size 0.8 and I'm using it to add color to the ghosts that are hanging from the trees. It's a bit of a tedious task, not gonna lie, but I love adding details like this, so to me, the process is rather enjoyable. I think it took me a good 20 minutes to color all of the ghosts on this background, as there were quite a few of them. There are three ghosts on each tree. Here's what the colored background looks like now. It looks better, but I still think it's missing something something in the background. What else can I doodle using my white pen? I can add dots in the background that would look like eyes coming out and looking at you from the darkness. That's easy. All I need to do is add large or small dots in pairs to look like some monster eyes on my card. Super easy. Now this background looks much better and it has a lot more interest and some mystery to it. I'm foam mounting the sentiment that I had heat embossed previously. I'm using black foam squares here to make sure the adhesive will not be visible from the side of the card. And my card is done. Rather easy to make and easy to mass produce if you wanted to make a bunch and use them as Halloween party invitations, for example. Now, I also wanted to try stamping the same design on white paper, like I had on my test example. So I cut a piece of white cardstock to four and a quarter by five and a half inches. I follow the same steps and stamped another background using the same stamp and same ink. This time, because the background was white, I didn't need to color the ghosts white as they were already white on the card. Now, to add at least some color to this design, I really wanted to add a little bit of something, I didn't want it to be black and white. I heat embossed a sentiment on dark purple cardstock. I picked one that reads boo from me to you and foam mounted it on the card using white foam adhesive squares. Now I still wanted to add something to this design, so I decided to add eyes. For this I used a black pen and once again doodled small and large eyes all over the background. I love the way it turned out and also how easy it was to make this card. Anyone can do it. My last card idea for today is just as simple. Here I've already stamped a haunted house and happy Halloween sentiment in black ink on orange cardstock. This is once again cut to four and a quarter by five and a half inches and it will make the front of my card. I used the same white pen to color parts of the house and to underline the sentiment to create the illusion of a white drop shadow. I love this trick. Now to help frame this design and again to add some interest to it, I once again used that spooky tree stamp and stamped it in black ink coming in from the edges framing this design. 
I overlapped the tree branches whenever it made sense to do so to create a fuller frame for this card. I didn't add any additional embellishments and kept this card pretty simple and hopefully just a little bit spooky. I hope you'll give ideas I shared in this video a try. If you do, please share online and tag us on social media. We always love seeing what you guys are making. Subscribe now not to miss any new card making tutorials. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. I'll see you next week.